Hello everyone, this is Kerry Anderson. Hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'll be talking about what are the three P's of diabetes. So if you like the video related to my health, my web, I'd like to request you all, please do subscribe the channel, hit the bell icon or give thumbs up so that I will come up with more and more videos with lots and lots of information. So here we begin this go. We all discuss the three P's in moral detail, explaining how they are diagnosed and treated as well as when you should see your doctor. The first one is polydipsia. Polydipsia is a word used to describe excessive thirst. If you are experiencing polydipsia, you may feel thirsty all of the time or have persistent dry mouth. In people with diabetes, polydipsia is caused by increased blood glucose level. When blood glucose level get high, your kidneys produce more urine in an effort to remove the extra glucose from your body. Meanwhile, because your body is losing fluid, your brain tells you to drink more in order to replace them. This leads to the feeling of intense thirst associated with diabetes. Persistent feelings of thirst can also be caused by dehydration, osmotic diuresis, and increase in urination due to excess glucose entering the kidney tubules, which can be reabsorbed, leading to increased water in the tubules. Mental health issues such as psychogenic polydipsia, polyuria. Polyuria is a term that used when you are passing more urine than normal. Most people produce about one to two liters of urine per day. One liter equal about four cups. People with polyuria produce more than three liters of urine in a day. When blood glucose levels are too high, your body will try to remove some of the excess glucose via urination. This also leads to your kidney filtering out more water, which leads to an increased need to urinate. Passing abnormal amount of urine can also be associated with other things besides diabetes, including pregnancy, diabetes and CPD, kidney disease, high calcium level or hypercalcemia. Mental health issues such as psychogenic polydipsia, taking medications such as diuretics. Now third, it goes to polyphagia. Polyphagia describe excessive hunger, although we may all feel an increase in appetite in certain situations, such as after exercise or if we haven't this eaten in a while, sometimes it can be a sign of an underlying condition. In people with diabetes, glucose can't enter cells to be used for energy. This can be due to either low insulin level or insulin resistance. Because your body can't convert this glucose to energy, you will begin to feel very hungry. The hunger Hunger associated with polyphagia doesn't go away after consuming food. In fact, in people with unmanaged diabetes, eating more will just contribute to already high blood glucose level like polydipsia and polyuria. Other things can cause polyphagia as well. Some examples include an overactive thyroid or hyperthyroidism, premenstrual syndrome, stress, taking certain medications such as corticosteroids, diagnosis, the three P's of diabetes often but not always occur together. Additionally, they often develop more quickly in type 1 diabetes and more slowly in type 2 diabetes. Since the three P's are a good indicator that your blood glucose level may be higher than normal, your doctor can use them to help diagnose diabetes. However, other symptoms can also occur along with the three P's. These symptoms include feeling tired or fatigue, blurry vision, unexplained weight loss, sensation of tingling or numbness in the hands and feet, slow healing of cut and braces, recurring infection. If you are experiencing any of the three P's with or without other diabetes symptoms, your doctor can perform tests to make a diagnosis. Now, the tests include is A1C blood test, fasting plasma glucose, random plasma glucose, oral glucose tolerance test. It's always important to remember that other conditions besides diabetes may also cause one or more the three Ps. If you are experiencing one or more of three symptoms, you should see your doctor. A note about prediabetes. What about 
the three p's and pre-diabetes pre-diabetes is when your blood glucose level are higher than they should be but not high enough to diagnose type 2 diabetes if you have pre-diabetes you likely won't experience clear signs or symptoms like the three p's because pre-diabetes can go undetected it's important to get your blood glucose level tested regularly if you are at risk for type 2 diabetes now we'll talk about the treatment in diabetes the cause of the three p's is higher than normal blood glucose as such keeping blood glucose level managed can help to stop the three p's for example of ways to do these include taking medication for diabetes such as insulin or metformin regular monitoring of things like blood glucose level blood pressure and cholesterol following a healthy eating plan being more physically active following a diagnosis your doctor will work with you to develop a treatment plan that's appropriate for your condition in order to keep your diabetes symptoms managed stick to this plan as much as possible when to see a doctor so when should you make an appointment with your doctor to discuss one or more of the three p's if you are experiencing an abnormal increase in thirst urination or appetite that lasts over a period of several days you should see your doctor this is particularly important if you are experiencing more than one of the three p's also keep in mind that each of the three p's can occur individually as a symptom of condition other than diabetes if you are experiencing symptoms that are new persistent or concerning you should always make an appointment with your doctor so that they can evaluate you the bottom line is the three p's of diabetes are polydipsia polyuria and polyphagia these terms correspond to increase in thirst urination and appetite respectively the three p's often but not always occur together they are an indicator of higher than normal blood glucose level and are some of the most common symptoms of diabetes if you are experiencing one or more of the three p's you should make an appointment with your doctor to discuss your symptoms so that's all about the three p's in the diabetes i hope you all liked it for all of you i prepared a small presentation that we'll be going to share in the description box below you can check it out from there so before signing off i would like to request you all please do like share subscribe this video with the loved ones so that they will get to know better so this is gary anderson signing off we will definitely meet in the next video till then god bless you bye bye and take care